Right, so anybody that thinks my life is all shiny super bikes and brilliance, well, you're bloody mistaken. Look what I've got. I've got a... <laughs> I know, I know, don't know, I know, I know. Um, I've got a WR125 here. Uh, belongs to a, a young whippersnapper. Um, he's the future of motorcycling in this country, so I shouldn't be too rude. Um... Yeah, basically, uh, it, it occasionally starts, then it won't, then it will, then it won't. Um, it's in horrific condition, really, as you'd kind of expect. It's, uh, yeah, it's a 17-year-old's motorbike. Well, I'm guessing he's 17. It's a young man's motorbike. Doesn't look like it's had any love. Whoa, look at those rear pads. Not much on them. I bet the chain's hanging off it. Yeah, looks like it. You get the picture anyway so it wouldn't uh wouldn't start occasionally it would and i noticed if you wiggle the handlebars occasionally it would start so i've i've just narrowed it down to and actually i'm quite chuffed with myself it took me about five minutes to find the fault and these things can often take plumbing ages if i can get this to expose properly see that blue and whoa get it come on expose see that little wire down in there come off the back of the um, ignition switch so every time you turn the handlebars it was making and breaking that contact so a little bit of soldering is required oh, it's me phone, shut up sorry about that interruption, very unprofessional of me um, I said um again, I must stop saying um somebody's picked me up on that you're probably watching this, you know who you are I'm going to try my hardest to never say um ever again I <laughs> really wanted to say um again then I've really got to stop doing that Right, so that's uh, that's my day today, or one of my jobs today. I like to try and do these uh, little jobs. They're sort of minimum charge jobs, these little jobs. So I have a pricing structure. I, I uh, It's a minimum charge of 89.50, which is an hour's labour and the call out, as so long as you're within 25 miles of me. So these little jobs, I, I try and pack people that are interested in the way I do business. I try and pack four or five of these potentially one or two hour jobs into a day so i have a i'll have a day where i'm sat you know doing a big service or a big repair and then i'll have a day or days where i'm here there and everywhere in the van they're kind of interesting days those days because you get out and about different different little jobs so this is one of those those days today i don't think the other things i've got today are going to be at all interesting but i thought i'd just share this one with you oh and the only other thing look at this shiny wheels i've just had my wheels powder coated they were starting to look a bit uh a little bit scabby now they're all nice and shiny anyway enough of that thanks for watching guys just a short one if you wanted to uh, see my day-to-day -day stuff see you on the next one